Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 29, where we will be discussing book color codes. So books are incredibly important in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. They are your primary source of advanced crafting recipes. They're also separate books that are martial arts training manuals, and we're going to discuss both. And the point of this particular Quick Tip episode is just to discuss the color coding system that books use to help differentiate books that are still useful to you, ones you're restricted from, and so on. So, towards that end, I've got our Professor Vorm character right here. There is a stack of books in the space right below him. I'm going to examine that space, and we're going to talk about what we see in that location. So, here is a list of books that are sitting in that particular location and I want to point out the colors that you see the text in. We've got red, gray, yellow, blue, and purple. So each of these color codes means something different and what I'm going to do is explain what these colors represent. So we're going to look at the martial arts training manuals kind of last, so I'm going to return to these two, but I want to pay attention to these next ones on the list, yellow, blue, purple, and red. First one I'm going to discuss is any book with red text. So when you pick up a book for the first time, it will always be in red text. And you'll notice right here it says you need to read this book to see its contents. Basically, each book needs to have a quick evaluation. You need to read it once in order to know what kind of book it is, what difficulty level, and so on. You kind of have to preview the contents in order to see the details. So, if you have a book in red on your list here, you want to read that book in order to learn the basics, and it will then turn one of these other colors. So let's go ahead and do that. If we do Shift or Capital R, Shift R, Capital R, it will bring up this list. This will show you the read command and it will list all the books that are in range of you. And again, we can see the different color coding. Now, I'm going to pick Advanced Electronics as our test. And you'll notice here it's got question marks for each of these categories. That's because an initial review has not yet been done on that particular book. Now, Robots for Fun and Profit is no longer purple on this list. That's because we don't know enough electronics to understand it. It's too advanced for our current skill levels to even be able to read this. That's a little different, but what we're going to worry about is these other ones in red with the question mark symbols. That means we haven't yet done our initial survey of the book to understand just what it's about. So we're going to go ahead and pick Advanced Electronics, press Enter. And we get some details over here. I'll turn off the mini map so we can see what it is, uh, what we've discovered by doing the quick initial survey. So you skim the advanced electronics to find out what's in it. And you'll note this first section it says, can bring your electronic skill to a maximum of level five, requires electronics level two in order to be able to understand it, it requires an intelligence of 11 to easily read it, meaning to get to read it at full speed. Reading this book affects your morale by minus one, and a chapter of this book takes 35 minutes to read. So this book contains 35 crafting recipes, and it lists the recipes. So I'm going to drop the book now because it put it in our inventory, and you'll notice it is now blue instead of red. Okay, so if we bring back the examine list again, Advanced Electronics is now blue. So, we still need to do a review of sewing techniques for designers and electronic circuit theory, but I'm going to leave those alone just so we can see the different colors. But that's basically the initial reading. So you have to do an initial reading of any books in red in order to get the details on what it's going to be uh, providing or requiring. So, next up we're going to talk about blue, yellow, and red colors. So blue is a color that's put on the text for the book when you can both learn experience levels from the book, meaning you can read it to gain experience and increase your basic level. In addition to, it contains recipes that you do not yet have memorized. So that's the main difference between blue and yellow. Blue means you can get both skill up XP and learn recipes from it. Yellow means that you can no longer gain skill up XP. You've already reached the maximum level of skill that it can provide, but it still has some recipes that you can learn or that are needed to have the book nearby in order for you to craft. So as an example for what's a transistor, it says can bring your electronic skill to three. 
Well, if we take a look at our character sheet, our electronic skill is four, meaning we've already exceeded the maximum level that that book can teach us. That's why it is turned yellow. Now, if we look at the details again, you'll notice down here in the recipe list, one of the items is bright white. That indicates we've already fully memorized this. We no longer need to have the book nearby in order to craft heating elements. We automatically know how to now. It's fully memorized and we don't need the book any longer. But all of these other ones in dark gray indicate if we were to try to craft those, we would have to have those recipes or the book nearby in order to craft those items. So a few of these we've already fully learned. We no longer need the book, but until all of them are learned, the book will stay yellow color, meaning you want to keep that nearby so you can take advantage of the recipes. Now, once a book is both no longer needed to skill up with, meaning you've exceeded the maximum skill level, and you've learned every single recipe in the book, meaning they're all fully white, that book will turn a gray color, what, like what you see here with the Indonesian warrior. So a book in gray, that's a normal crafting book means you don't need it anymore. You can get rid of it. The martial arts manuals are special cases, so be careful not to toss those, and I'll explain those in a moment. But that's the primary color system for the standard crafting books. Now, the other color we haven't talked about yet is purple. Purple occurs when you have read one of the red books and you don't meet the minimum necessary skill in order to be able to read it. So Robots for Fun and Profit is purple because it requires electronic skill level of five. We only have a level four electronics, so we can't even understand the technical jargon involved in that book. Until we get our required our electronic skill up to the minimum necessary, which is five in this case, then we're not able to read that book. So, Robots for Fun and Profit is purple. If I use the debug menu, oops, if I use the debug menu to change my skill in electronics and move it up one more level to five, then take a look at that pile. Robots for Fun and Profit is now blue. We now meet the minimum requirement of electronics level 5 and we can learn XP off of it because it'll take electronics skill up to a maximum of 10. So it's going to stay blue because both we can get XP off of it as well as there's a large number of recipes we have not yet memorized. That's pretty much the color coding process. So for standard books in the crafting category, the main colors are red initially. That means you need to do an initial survey of the book. Then it will turn either red or uh, colors of blue, yellow, or purple, depending on the situation. Now the special situation I wanted to mention is these martial arts manuals. Be very careful with martial arts training manuals. They're a little deceptive in how they work. So here's a Kodokan Judo book. That means it's in red because we haven't done an initial survey of it, whereas the Indonesian Warrior we have. Now I've actually read the Indonesian Warrior twice. This is the important distinction I want to mention. I'm going to go ahead and read the Kodokan Judo book. So let's go to read. We'll read that book. Then if we drop it back in the pile here, you'll notice that it is all of a sudden gray. This is the misleading part. I have not actually fully learned that martial arts style. So if I use the underscore key on the keyboard to bring up my fighting style selector, you'll see here I have Silat, which is Pentjack Silat, and that's coming out of the Indonesian Warrior book. So that's that book right there. Now, the thing I want to point out is the initial reading of the book turns it from red to the gray color but you have to read it a second time, even though it shows gray, which in the crafting books means you're totally done with that, no longer need it. For martial arts manuals only, you have to read it a second time, even though it's gray, in order to learn that skill. So I have not yet actually learned the Kodokan uh, Judo style, which is shown here. No listing for that Judo style. So if I do read and then choose that Kodokan Judo book, You'll, learn, you'll see down here it says, and specifically, you learn the essential elements of the style. Now, when I bring up my martial or my fighting style skill, there is the judo listing right there. So be very careful with martial arts book. They are the sole exception to the rule that a color code green, gray indicates it's totally useless. In the case of martial arts manuals, you want to read it a second time in order to actually learn the martial art fighting style 
Once you've done that, just double check your fighting style selector list, and as long as it's listed here, then you're completely done with that book. You'll no longer learn anything from it, no need to keep it nearby. Feel free to dump it, burn it, whatever you'd like to do. But other than that, if it's a standard crafting style book, all of these other books, once it turns gray, you no longer need it. You've gotten all the skill out of it you can, you've memorized every single recipe, and you can also ditch that one. Unless you might need it to uh, level up your NPCs. That would be the only reason to keep those around. So, I hope you found this information helpful. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if you have any suggestions for future episodes. And feel free to visit me on my Discord channel if you'd like to chat further about any of the topics covered in our Cataclysm Quick Tips or University series. Have a great day. Bye-bye.